I guess for every first volume I'll give a review, followed by a discussion. For a short summary, this series is about a girl named Komi, who is considered beauty elite, but has ultra social anxiety. She is befriended by Tanado, who figures out her secret and tries to help her achieve her goal of making 100 friends. This one I noticed from the artwork of the second volume, so I decided to buy the first three to give it a shot. It has lovable characters and hilarious situations. It has the humor of Ranma, with a growing cast of weird and interesting people. It gives an amazing viewpoint of people with social anxiety, from both society's perspective and a personal one. At the moment of writing this review, I'm about to read book 5. It becomes increasingly easy to read through. Thank god it has double digits for the series. Don't know what more to recommend if you need. It's hilarious and a must buy from me. Okay, now on to discussion of favorites and whatnot. The biggest plus of this manga is its physical humor. Like I said, it reminds me of the humor style of Rama, but even more so with its many panels of no words and all movements and reaction humor. The other hilarious part is that society's reaction to Komi's silence. Not any single person, but every single person's reaction is entirely different because they assume she knows everything and will force them to guess why she isn't talking. From the teachers to a bully to a barista, they ignore her obvious signs of fear and place it on themselves, and every response is hilariously different. For characters, Tanado is as pure as he can get for Komi. He clearly has a crush on her, but doesn't believe in a million years that she would like him like that. So he basks in her friendship and trying to help her achieve her goal, while the rest of society, in volume 1 at least, watches on in anger. He also develops a true sense of understanding of what Komi is trying to communicate translating her actions into words. Then you got Najimi, who at first declines the friendship, but then after realizing Komi's true nature, decided to help on her request. Najimi is hilarious for not really being able to interpret Komi like Tanado, but rather pushes Komi into uncomfortable situations to help her with her social anxiety. Every time you think maybe Najimi will be fair, it flips into an even bigger mess, sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse. Komi's design is near flawless, especially when showing both society's viewpoint of her beauty and intimidation to her true feelings of cartoonishly scared, with big eyes, sometimes catty persona, and trembling lines all around her. And it's cute that she also has a clear crush back on Tanado, whether it being he was the first to befriend her truly, or his goodwill nature and seemingly the only one to understand her, or possibly we may find out she liked him before we even got to this point. Either way, it's cute to see both growing feelings towards his friendship, while also seeing her embarrassed and shy side towards her feelings towards him. Typically my favorite chapters are ones more solely on Komi's singular interactions, when she goes to get custom made coffee, when she gets a cell phone for the first time, or when the class elects Komi as God because class presidency is too small for her. Now recently a teaser trailer was released that this manga is getting its own anime adaptation series. I'd be very interested in a few things, series like Don't Toy With Me Minis Nagatoro were able to use short chapters as half episodes, sometimes even using shorter chapters for cold opens and quick closes, how will certain chapters in Komi Can't Communicate be used or if at all, maybe we'll get more look into Komi's family earlier on. I assume the first six chapters will be for the pilot introducing the main plot to help Komi get 100 friends. And going vaguely into the next few volumes without trying to spoil anything, for the anime, I feel that her relationship with her family is something that they can flesh out more of. Her awkward silent father, her loud charismatic mother, and her brother who I still don't know much about even though I'm starting volume 5 soon. Uh, questions for you to comment on how did you come across the series, are you looking forward to the anime, and how many volumes are you on right now if you're already reading because these books are scary easy to read through. So anyway, this is a series I'd really love to start discussing with people about. Maybe a future idea will be YouTube live stream for like an hour or two once or twice a week for people who want to talk about the manga I'll be reviewing of some sort. I also got an Instagram if you want to follow for a quicker way for more manga reads and reviews that I've been doing. I'm still trying to figure out what I truly want out of this channel and sharing and discussing eventually with the viewers. This way is easier on the face but hard to record and edit in full. Hoping to do more live YouTube discussions when we start getting more subscribers, and eventually there will be WWE vids too. Anyways, thanks.